More breaking news, the Washoe County Commission has reversed its decision not to certify recount results, voting four to one today to certify the results. It happened just moments ago. Ben Marjot is live outside the chambers and he's been following this hours long meeting all day long. Ben, a long day. What happened? Joe and Shelby, the vote came down just within the last 15 minutes or so, and actually we were expecting one commissioner possibly to change their vote from last week. In the end, two commissioners reversed their votes from a week ago, and so ultimately four to one, the canvas of the recount results did finally pass after a week of uncertainty about what would happen if those results were not certified and the lawsuit from state officials that we saw as well. This was the backdrop of all of this, a protest outside this morning, immense public public pressure that commissioners were facing to not certify the results from dozens of protesters and public commenters, many of them organized by right-wing donor Robert Beatles. The signs that they were holding this morning said things like elections rigged and stop illegal voting, for example. While there were a few mistakes, including leaving one race off the sample ballot, there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud in this election, despite Beatles' unproven claims that AI had determined the election was rigged. We had about three hours of public comment. Then they got to other uh, business in this meeting. Then just within the last hour, getting to the matter of recertifying these results. And ultimately, Commissioners Mike Clark and Clara Andriola, both Republicans, flopping their votes from a week ago. Here's what they had to say. This action is ministerial only and required. I have been told that a failure the vote to certify this election can subject me to criminal prosecution and forfeiture of office. As such, my vote today is being made under extreme duress. So you heard it there. The district attorney's office had told commissioners that voted no on certifying that they could face criminal prosecution from this and potentially lose their office. And still Commissioner Jeannie Herman a little while ago still voted as she had for the many years that she's been in office now against certification of those results so she was the the one no vote and this ends kind of as i said the week of uh, speculation and uncertainty about what would happen it is unclear if the state's lawsuit will now move forward that the, now that these results have been certified but of course we'll keep you posted and update you as we learn more live in reno ben marjot news four on your side